Gente, que emoção! Ó, oh, quem aí amou Emily em Paris? É a série que conta as desventuras de uma americana em terras francesas. É uma série muito maravilhosa e tem aquela coisa, né? Quem é a Mindy da sua Emily? Aquela BFF que tá sempre do seu lado, nos perrengues, te ajudando e também te dando umas reais quando você precisa. E quem aí é o Gabriel da sua vida? Porque eu sei que tem aquele crush proibido. O amor proibido, aquele vizinho gato, quem nunca, né? Bom, agora a gente vai conversar com a Ashley Park, a Mindy, e o Lucas Bravo, que é o Gabriel. Então agarra seu croissant e vem comigo! Olá! Bem-vindos! Enchanté! Olá, gente! Olha, estamos muito felizes porque vamos conversar com vocês hoje. Todo mundo que ser amigo da Mindy depois de assistir a série e todo mundo que ter um vizinho igual o Gabriel, né? Sejamos sinceras. Eu queria que vocês falassem sobre a amizade real oficial entre vocês dois. Quer começar, Ashley? Oh, sure. I think... Well, so, so good to see you, Brazil. We love you. Um, I think that what you see on screen is kind of what it was in real life. And I think that we're so glad that it translated to the screen because we're all such good friends. And I think that we all were such professionals on set and we all loved, we were all so grateful for the job so much. And so um, we just had a great time. And we're so glad that you all got to see that. And I mean, I think that you get to do your best work when you're like the most comfortable with everyone. Luke is one of my best friends. And so, um, We were all kind of like magnets when we first met, and like those friendships are kind of what you're seeing. So, yeah. Luca? Well, there's there's not much I can add to that. Uh, hi, Brazil, and, and thank you for the support and the love uh, for the show. Um, I mean, yeah, she said it all. We were, uh, we became roommates uh, on the first days of shooting. We were basically living together through the shoot. So, <laughs> we, we did everything together. It's a real friendship at this point. Well, and I also love that. I think that one of the first, the the bon appetit him line, I, I know that, that like, I, I, that was the day that me and Luca met, and I said I'd bon appetit him, but I think it's also because I was so comfortable with Lily, and I also, like, knew that Luca wouldn't be offended if I just, like, said that on the spot, and so, like, those magic moments that you see in the show are all because we are so close. Que demais, gente! E agora eu queria saber, como que eram os bastidores dessa série? Se se divertiam muito, porque é uma série super cômica e também tem romance, lógico. Oh, yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> I think that that's like, like, I mean, it was my first time in Paris, and my favorite thing is, I mean, Luca Bravo was my Mindy, my personal Mindy in Paris, you know? Like, I think all of the French castmates really showed me the city, and um, we went on so many adventures together. Like Luca said, we were all kind of roommates at one point, and so uh, everything, I mean, everything that you think could possibly happen in Paris happened the, the food the wine the adventures the parties really everything um and that's why we love emily in paris so much because i think it really shows all of that yes yes completely i mean i mean <laughs> just just on on the on this i i think the second night we we knew each other we just basically she, she wanted to go out and i wanted to show her around and we just had so much fun that every every time we had a day off we would just try to find a, a different occupation and we had some crazy stories i don't know if we can tell all of them but i don't think we, we should we but, but i mean you know everyone is like luca bravo is the perfect like neighbor i wish i had a neighbor like him but you like want a best friend like luca because what he's saying is like i think i had a friend and we were like where should we go tonight and he goes oh i'll meet you in an hour i'll bring a bottle of wine and let's go well i'll take you there myself so really just the best we had the best time Ai, que incrível! Então agora a nova frase é Queria ter um, um melhor amigo como o Lucas Bravo. Bom, Ashley, o que você acha que faz a gente <risos> ser tão adorável e tão querida pelo público? Oh, Mindy? Um, I think 
exactly that actually is i i'm so happy that so many people around the world and brazil especially has said that they wish they had a best friend like mindy um i think she's i i, I really connect with her in that way i think she's so good at um playing by her own rules of being respectful and supportive to everyone she's so good at calling emily out but also comforting her um and you know she's someone who grew up in wealth and a great life and so she doesn't apologize for her amazing fashion and taste and but she is very grounded and she's just the she's fun she's i think what me and luca both pride ourselves on being which is like the life of the party and so i think that's what makes her so fun and who doesn't want a friend who's as supportive as that and who's also not judgmental she's never like emily like don't do this don't do that she's kind of like okay so you like this guy or you don't like this guy let's figure this out together so i think she's fun in that way ai gente eu amo a mindy lucas eu ouvi dizer que você cozinha de verdade qual é o seu prato que mais faz sucesso ah i don't know if it's successful you know i've been saying all all along that i was a sous chef and i've been cooking and and so we did this uh, video with uh actually where we're supposed to cook an omelette in reference to the show and i basically uh, like chopped off my finger and i started bleeding all over the omelette and it it just it just burnt and it was terrible so now i'm, I'm trying not to talk about food too much because it turns out no, i, I no, can't do it anymore Don't forget that at the at very end of the video he pulls out this like beautiful case of like chocolate cake and it's like by the way I made this chocolate cake if you want if anybody wants to try it. <laughs> Because he, I knew I, I was going to miss yeah. We never really cooked together in France because we always just like went out and bought cheese, but he does cook like great pasta <laughs> and he he's got some great dishes. Olha, gostei. Agora eu vou ter que fazer uma pergunta em nome de todo o Brasil. Lucas, a frigideira você lava ou não lava? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I do wash it, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ah. I, I wash I my just... pan. Yes. I mean, I, I didn't know you were not supposed to wash it before, before the show, but uh, I wash it, yes. But some people stopped I washing have... it since the show. I, I, I wonder if it works. O mistério foi revelado. Bom, e agora eu preciso fazer uma pergunta que traga aqui para o nosso universo. O que, que vocês já ouviram falar do Brasil e dos fãs aqui? Porque agora vocês têm muitos fãs brasileiros, hein? Um, well, I've heard, I mean, I have a couple of Brazilian friends and they're probably like the most fun people. I've heard that New Year's in Brazil is super fun. It's my dream to go to Brazil, hopefully one day when the world allows. During New Year's, I'll probably drag Luca with me. Um, I heard you guys all dress in all white, and it's just like the best kind of party, and it just sounds like the kind of scene that I would really love. Well, in, in terms of, of Brazil, I, I would say um, I, I'm a big, big soccer fan, and I, I've been playing soccer all my life. My dad was a soccer player, a professional, so, you know, it's uh, where it all started, and um, I have this, this culture of soccer which is it, it's the you know the capital of soccer and uh i will always be a fan of the the brazilian soccer team so yeah just in terms of this this is a, a place i really need to see i never i've never been to brazil so i'll i'll come with ashley that's for sure oh my god let's go to brazil together that's fun We all right promise you now que demais. Eu espero vocês aqui pra gente fazer outra temporada só que daí agora vai ser emily in brazil tá bom Ashley, tem um, um elogio a fazer. Seu francês é muito bom. Você já falava francês antes da série? Você praticou para a série? Como é que foi tudo isso? Oh my gosh. Well, merci, merci, thank you. Um, I, <laughs> Lucas laughing because you know, I actually that's very nice of you. I took French growing up in school, but I didn't remember very much of it and I get Even sometimes when I talk to Luca, I try to sometimes put French in, then I get very nervous and shy. Um, but the lines, <laughs> he's laughing. But the lines I heard, or I, I said in the show, are not very useful in real life. Like, Ella Alma Heisel's steak new pizza would play. Like, I, she'd like her steak more cooked, is not very useful. But um, I, I really have to hand it to 
our hair and makeup people like Carol and Mikey. Um, every day, whenever I had a French line, the only thing we would do as they were doing my hair and makeup was just say it over and over and over again. Um, and what they told me was that I talk too animatedly in French people just blah, 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 they talk like this in monotone. <laughs> So, like, Luca, say something in French. Like, and so as soon as I just started talking like this, then it sounded more French. So I appreciate that. I worked hard on it. Arrasou. E Lucas, o que você gostaria que acontecesse com o Gabriel na série? Well, I think you know, um, since uh, Darren Star started the drama, it's in his own hands to untangle everything, <laughs> and I wouldn't dare touch his storyline. But in, in terms of, uh, I, I would say. Work-wise, I hope Gabriel gets his own restaurant and gets to be more creative about his cooking. And uh, and relationship-wise, you know, I cannot speculate. It's a mess. <laughs> Ashley, e você, o que espera da Mindy na próxima temporada de Emily in Paris? Oh, exactly what Lucas said. I think that, you know, a lot of people, when this show came out, have asked me, oh, you know, why didn't Mindy get... Um, any kind of love interest. And I think that for me, I was so happy that her love interest was the friendship with Emily and establishing um, her relationship with singing again. And also like Mindy's been in Paris for a year. She's definitely has like other friends and like is throwing parties and also is definitely sleeping with somebody. But like, I think that would be maybe <laughs> fun to explore. And also, I mean, I think me and Luca and Lily were so excited when we got the final script where Mindy moves in. Because she's like definitely gonna throw a party at Gabrielle's apartment. That's a nice apartment. So like we'll we'll <laughs> we'll definitely have some fun there. So really, we trust our writers. They took such good care of us in the first season, and they lived near us, and they got to know us. So I think that um, if they're anything like the adventures we had in real life there, then it's sure to be a great another season. Yeah, actually, actually speaking of uh, Gabrielle's apartment was entirely in studio. We actually almost uh, had a sleepover there. We wanted to. I think we talked about it with Lily and, and, and Ashley and a few cast members. We wanted to stay because it's it's fully equipped. The kitchen is working, the shower is working, and we wanted to have a, a party at Gabrielle's, which is in studio, but the studio didn't allow it. Next time. We can break him down. We can do it, Luca. <laughs> yeah, we will. Nossa! Agora uma curiosidade. Ashley, aonde você estava quando descobriu que viveria a Mandy? Um, also, I love your hairstyle, girl. It looks really, I love that. Um, I I was actually, I was doing a play um, up in Massachusetts that I was about to do on Broadway in New York. And um, I was playing a, a pregnant therapist. And I think that I had had a call with Darren on my way to my opening night there. And he didn't tell me that I got the part. We just talked about the character. And so I hung up and called my agent and was like, did I just ruin that? What happened? Um, and so I was up there doing an, a play when I got the call. And then I had to pack a, one suitcase in a week and then move to Paris for four months. <laughs> wow, gente, que demais. Que história, né? E você, Lucas, onde que você tava quando ficou sabendo que faria o Gabriel? <laughs> well, I was... Uh, she's laughing already. I was actually... Uh, I, the process of the... <laughs> the process of the casting took like a month. So I went... I went... I had so many auditions. At, and the last one, actually, I went to the mountain to just like forget about it and not expect too much because, you know, you don't want to get too disappointed or project too much so I, I just went away without you know waiting for the answer and I was really in the mountain in, in a little island called Corsica in the south of France and I was waiting there <clears throat> and I got a call from there when, which told me to hurry down and just come back to Paris and I, I had the last audition in an hotel in Paris with Lily, uh, Darren, the director, uh, producers at, at Paramount and they told me I think three days later which was a week before we started production And um, I was, you know, in my kitchen alone, just waking up. And uh, it was pretty, pretty <laughs> weird to wake up to this. Ai, I love com that. Com certeza, deve ter, deve ter sido incrível acordar com essa notícia. Enfim, eu queria terminar pedindo para vocês deixarem um recadinho para os fãs de Emily em Paris, aqui do Brasil. We love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. We 
I think we are so excited about the show coming out because we just, it changed our lives. We met each other and we loved making this show so much and we, it brought us so much joy. So I think that's why we are so happy and excited to share it with the world. And we just like, we, we love that so many people have felt connected to these characters and like want to travel and we just love you. Jatem, Jatem Boku. Yeah, I think, I think, I think she's absolutely right. It's just amazing to see how some, something we love doing so much and we believe so much in uh, just became bigger than us. And uh, the way the show was received, especially in Brazil, there's so much passion and uh, people are so benevolent and all the messages I've been getting from Brazil have been so nice and encouraging and respectful. Um, I, I'm, 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 we're all feeling very grateful about this. It's a very humbling experience and you guys are really amazing. Um, I, truly, we mean it. And, we uh, love you, Brazil. Can, you guys are awesome. Yeah. We Hi. cannot wait to, to show you more. Obrigada, a gente ama vocês também. Esperamos, vo esperamos vocês no Brasil para a festa de Ano Novo e para o jogo de futebol, lógico. Prometo que vocês vão yes. ser muito bem recebidos aqui. Eu posso levar vocês para passear, conhecer tudo e, lógico, comer a comida daqui também, que é a melhor que há. Bom, gente, até lá eu estarei com saudade da Mindy, do Gabriel e da Emily. Queria agradecer pela companhia de hoje no Tudum. E au revoir, Ashley e Lucas. Beijos. Thank you.